If you're a young athlete or a coach in Canada, chances are you think hockey before you think football. Well, that is changing. Over the last several years, there's been many football programs starting up in Canada for both minor age and junior age football players. When you have more players playing the game, you need more coaches coaching the game. That's where the Eskimos come in. For the second year in a row, this weekend at Commonwealth Stadium, they held a minor football coaches clinic. Over 100 coaches from the area showed up to sit in on sessions with Eskimos head coach Kavis Reed and his staff. They talked about everything from safety and equipment to teaching the fundamentals of the game. The end game through all this is, hey, let's not only develop players for the Canadian Football League, but let's develop coaches for the Canadian Football League. One of the two Canadian coaches on the Eskimos coaching staff is uh, Terry Iser, who's back with the Eskimos this year. First off, Terry, tell me your thoughts on the state of Canadian coaches for football in Canada. Well, I think uh, Canadian coaches are moving their way, way up in the ranks. Um, I really believe that um, there's a lot of development going on in this country, and it certainly showed at the national championships or the world championships. Canada is starting to see some success. But, um, you know, there's a number of coaches that um, time and time again go down and educate themselves south of the border in terms of new techniques, strategies on offense and defense and uh, we're getting better and uh, I think it's uh, we're in a good state and uh, it's good to see. And the clinic that the Eskimos are hosting this week and obviously part of getting that the coaching in Canada for football at a higher level, get them more at the grassroots level. Absolutely, and I think uh, some provinces do it better than others, but uh, the Eskimos are trying to do their part in terms of giving back to the community, number one, and developing coaches and trying to uh, put our best for, uh, foot forward in terms of that development, for sure. Nice to work with players, obviously, but it's kind of, I imagine from a coaching perspective, neat to work with some coaches and, and get their opinions and feedback and teach them a little bit. You know what, we had a lot of fun today and, and the feedback that I got from the coaches and, and their demeanor in terms of how they paid attention, the response that uh, they showed me uh, was telling me that they were interested and they were learning something and, that, and that's always good as a coach to know that um, you're helping them and because you look forward to doing that with other people that have more knowledge than you. And uh, so, you know, it's a give and take and in, uh, in the coaching industry, that's what you do. You're, if, you, if you're not trying to learn, you're moving backwards. So it's all about continuing to learn all the time. With snow still on the ground, football this time of year is mostly indoors, but soon they'll be moving outdoors. And there's 100 coaches or so who'll be more prepared for the football season this year thanks to this year's Eskimos Coaches Clinic. We'll see you next week on Tuesdays with Morley.